Welcome to the Arcade Repair Tips video series. My name is Tim and today we're going to talk about different methods you can use to strip a wire. Now before we get started, I know how some of you strip wires just like I used to with one of these. Now while using a pocket knife may work, it is definitely not the safest or the best way. So let's look at some better ways that we can use to strip wires. Now the first type of wire strippers that we're going to talk about is the more traditional wire strippers like you probably noticed we used in our early videos. And I have two right here that are pretty similar. Uh, the first one, as you can see, kind of has a spring in the middle. Basically, you just put the wire in and pull it. This one does the same thing except for it has a couple of extra features uh, that it will uh, has kind of a plier end on it. It also has a place down here where we can crimp something on and we'll show you that in just a little bit. But right now let's demonstrate how to use these two tight. Now you may have noticed I actually had to wrap the wire in there, I mean the strippers around the wire and actually pull them. So had to hold the wire still and actually pull it to get it done. Now you may notice that they're different size holes. In fact if I would have put it in the bottom hole it won't even do anything. It won't affect it at all. So you got to find the right gauge wire for the right size hole and pull it. Now. And this pair of pliers basically works the same, but again, it does have a pair of needle nose kind of on the end. Both of them are able to cut a wire. A lot of people don't forget about the cutters that are there, and you can just cut the wire like that. But this one has these holes in here. A lot of you, for years, I didn't understand what in the world that these holes were for. And let me explain that to you. If you've got a bolt, say on your control panel, or a pretty small bolt that will go through here, what you're going to do is put the bolt through there and then squeeze it and it will actually cut the end of that bolt off. That's what those holes are for, to actually shorten bolts for whatever project that you're working on. You can also, have, this pair has that additional feature to be able to do that and it also has these crimpers at the bottom for when we're crimping on things like connectors and stuff. Sometimes you'll see in our videos we use that. Okay, now let's talk about more of an automatic wire stripper. The two previous ones we showed were more of a manual stripper that you had to actually pull yourself manually. Now sometimes we call these click strippers because they make a clicking noise. Also, we want to stop right now and talk about these kind of work better with newer wires or in newer games. Sometimes if the wiring is really old, let's say in a, a Pac-Man game or something uh, from the 80s, you might want to be a little more careful and use that uh, manual type of wire stripper. But in the newer stuff or in really good wiring, these work great. Now this is a really uh, cheap pair, just a generic pair. In fact, we call them by their Latin term, cheapest stripper is Tobias. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate right now how these work. Okay, as you can see by that demonstration, all I had to do was put the wire inside the little dinosaur head, click it, and it literally bites off the sleeve. So, but remember we said these are cheap and they do wear out pretty quickly and it doesn't take long before they won't strip very good. So while this is a method and you've probably seen us use it before, we tend to not buy these any longer just because they do not last. Now, we're coming to the all-time arcade repair tips, one of the best tools we have ever purchased. In fact, I think right up outside of the wheel, this is one of the greatest inventions that has ever been invented, and that is this method or a different type of click stripper. And this kind, it costs a little bit more, but in the end, is well worth it. Let me demonstrate how this one works. Just like cutting butter. 
as a professional game tech, I can tell you that by far these are the best strippers. And even though these are a name brand, you can get a generic pair or something that works almost just as good for around $20. Now we're going to highly recommend that you go to this method of wire stripping. It may be the cost of all these other guys combined, but as you can see, it's well worth it. Okay, let's go back over what we've talked about today. Number one, we talked about a pocket knife, which is really handy on a lot of things, but really not our preferred method of stripping wire. The next thing we talked about were these two. And you might remember we did say that if you have some older wiring or a very old game, you might want to use these because they're a little more gentle and don't break or cut the wires. This guy right here works really great for a while, but it, it won't take long to wear out. And in our opinion, this is exactly where it belongs. But now these, they're, uh, you might Google them and they're called the self-adjusting wire strippers. This is highly recommended and what we prefer to use every day on a professional basis. Well, we hope that you've enjoyed this video today and that it's helped you in your wire stripping. If you're going to be an arcade repair tech or any kind of electrical repair wiring expert, you're going to need some good tools. We highly recommend that you spend a little more money and get the right tool for the job. Hi, thanks again for watching today. I hope that this video helps you in all your future arcade repairs. Now remember, if you have a question, you can always email us at questions at arcaderepairtips.com or right here on YouTube, you can join us live the first Thursday of every month at 5.30 p.m. Central Time and we'll take live questions on the air, so be sure and tune in and watch our live show. Again, thanks again for watching the Arcade Repair Tips video series and when you fix the game, you play the game. Goodbye, everybody.